Big data means a lot of different things. To some companies, it means large quantities of data that we're collecting. To other companies, it means just huge volumes of data that are streaming in, for example, the internet. We have so many devices that are generating information continuously. But the problem is, where do we store it? If we don't store it, we lose it. And even if we were to store it, how do we make sense of it? How do we actually use it? We really need powerful machine learning and data processing techniques to address it. And this is exactly what I'm doing in my lab. I'm developing these software tools that help you find patterns of interest. There are many industries that collect large amount of data. For example, healthcare. We work with the FDA and they collect data about patients, both about diseases that they have, as well as medicines that they're taking. They need to look over all of these reports and try to figure out the ones that are the important ones. And the volume is so large, it's sheer impossible for them to do this. We are looking at addressing that problem with a variety of machine learning techniques. One technique is natural language processing. So we look at the unstructured part of those reports and our objective is to extract keywords that relate to medicines or to the age of a patient or the side effect that is occurred, extract it and put it into structured format. There's a large number of reports. Some of them have very little content. So our goal is to automatically sift over those reports and try to give scores so that the reports that are more complete are being bubbled up to the top. What's really exciting to me about big data is that the uses of it are yet unknown. We're barely beginning to touch the surface of the kind of things we can detect. So we're collecting data now, but in future years, we will be finding things, nuggets of information, that we're pulling together data from more than one places that will change the world forever.